one of your employees, mandated by the Department of Transportation, DOT, was involved in an accident, what do you do? You do have a separate drug-free policy for those employees, right? A DOT policy that works in concert with your non-DOT policy? Well, assuming you've got that covered, since the employee is DOT mandated, a higher authority than your non-DOT company policy, you've got to start with me, your DOT policy. But before we decide if you should apply me in this situation, I need to ask you a few questions. Was there a fatality as a result of the accident? Or was your employee cited for the accident, plus there was bodily injury with immediate medical treatment away from the scene, or one of the vehicles had to be towed away from the scene? If the answer is yes to either of those questions, then you need to ask the employee to take a DOT post-accident drug and alcohol test. But if the answer is no, well then I can't help you. Well, I guess this is where I come in. Your non-DOT policy at your service. Since good old DOT policy over there can only help if the accident falls under its jurisdiction. I'm here to step in when DOT doesn't apply. So there was an accident. You've determined it does not meet the criteria of your DOT policy, so now you get to answer my questions. Did the situation meet the definition of an accident in your policy? And if so, is it a testable accident according to your policy? If you answered yes to both of these questions, you'll likely need to follow through with a non-DOT test. But before you do, what does your policy say about whether you should do an alcohol test in addition to the drug test? That should also be outlined in me, your non-DOT policy. As you can see, when it comes to operating a drug-free workplace program, there are some very distinct differences between what can be done under a DOT policy and a non-DOT policy. And post-accident testing is just one of the differences. That is why, especially if you have some DOT mandated employees and others that aren't, it is important for you to have both a DOT policy and a non-DOT drug-free policy and separate paperwork for ordering the test. Yeah, and while it might feel redundant to have both, it really is the best practice. DOT has really strict mandates that are set up by the government that you have to follow when there's an accident. And there are other circumstances where you'll need to apply me if DOT over there is silent on the issue. Having both gives you the flexibility to make sure your company is operating the program you want to be operating and taking into account all the variables you think are important. Even with our distinct differences, we're able to work together and even help each other out. I mean, I do most of the helping, but still, it works for us. Listen, you know things are stricter for me. If you have any questions or need help figuring out how these two policies can work in tandem, give us a call. We'd be happy to help.